What's good, Hoopers? This is part five of our video series regarding shoulder stability. Um, if you haven't checked out parts one through four, please go check those out first and master those exercises before even trying these exercises here. In this video, we're gonna go over more di very dynamic and plyometric shoulder stability exercises. Um, in this one specifically, we're gonna go over like more catching and absorption of impact. Um, so, like I mentioned in other videos, this is very progressive over our entire series. Part one and three was our closed chain exercise, so mastering those at least will help you with this part in terms of like the catching absorption phase of plyometrics for the upper body. And we're just going to get into it. So for those of you I don't know, my name is Gabe Ignacio, doctor of physical therapy, board certified orthopedic clinical specialist, and co-founder of Basketball Doctors. And like we mentioned, like always, we're just trying to be here, help hoopers play basketball pain-free, enjoy a healthy lifestyle, and help the general public learn how to take care of their bodies. So for this one, it's huge to not only build strength with those first part of our series with the open chain and closed chain exercises, proprioception, stability with through the shoulder girdle and rotator cuff muscles, but you also, as an athlete, need to be able to absorb impact when you come down from a, a rebound or a layup and you hit the ground, being able to have really strong shoulder girdle and shoulder joint muscles to be able to absorb the impact, not only with your muscles, but also from what we've built up over time, using that tissue tolerance through your labrum, your ligaments, your capsule to be able to absorb impact. So really important exercises to be able to learn and do correctly. Like we mentioned in all our video, other videos, there's so many exercises you can do for this, as well as like micro progressions, regressions. We're just gonna pick some of our favorites that we feel like can pretty much hit the basis of what you need to be doing, and you can go from there. Um, so hope you enjoy the video of these exercises. We'll get into them now, and I'll chat with you at the end. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna go over is kind of going over the deceleration impact control. Uh, we're gonna do kind of modified plow catches. So you're gonna start on your knees and then you're gonna fall forward, trying to catch with both hands first. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. We're gonna sh I'm gonna show you two kind of variations with this exercise where I'm kind of going down as absorbing the impact fully. Um, and then one where I'm staying a little bit more stiff. Uh, in a future video, we'll kind of go over the pros and cons or like the pros of doing each uh, type of impact control but just for this video we're just going to go over the exercise and cueing for it so first one is you're going to go fully down and absorb it completely so what that looks like is you're going to fall down two hands absorb down push all the way back up okay so mechanics with this one is try and land at the same time with both arms so you're even not biasing one side or the other and you want to slowly deceleration and come to a stop before you obviously face plant into the ground. Um, if you want to face plant, that's a whole different story, but make sure you can do a push up so that you can obviously control this exercise. But you're going to decelerate down, control all the way down. Okay? So, what I don't want is you coming down and flopping down like that. That doesn't show control. What we want is for you. So absorb the impact, feel your muscles contract in your scapula and in your pecs. Impact, control it all the way down, push it back up, okay? Next one, uh, we see it as kind of like a progression of working on stiffness, where you rely a little bit more on how quick your muscles can turn on to stabilize as quickly as possible, as well as giving a little stress to um, the passive structures like your ligaments, labrum, kind of what we mentioned before, the shoulder is a very mobile joint and requires a lot of stability from a lot of different things to work. So for this one, same exact thing, land at the same time, but now you just want to go into a soft elbow bend. So you're gonna come down, observe it, okay? One more time, come down, control it, okay? Um, again, just gonna show you the other way, just for comparison. So this is full, all the way down, full control, and so the deceleration, this one's working on a little bit more on the stiffness and coming back up. Progression to this is either go staggered where you're leaning one more to one more side than the other. So I'm going to lead to my right side a little bit more. So fall in, absorb most of my weight on that right side, or you can go straight into single arm. Same thing, 
working on that stiffness, or absorption all the way down, push up with two. Okay. And then a progression to that one, which is the next exercise, is a plyo push up. So make sure you can do a plyo push up first, or make sure you have the power to do that. And then you're going to absorb kind of the same way where we start with double arm, progress to single arm, and you want to work with the full land and absorb it all the way down and then working on the stiffness after that. So demonstration purposes, core tight, go all the way down to push it, slow it up. That's the stiffness one. And then for the full deceleration, push up, control all the way down. Okay. So again, a couple different reasons why you want to work on both. Uh, we recommend you try both, but just start off with what you're comfortable with. Um, really want to make sure you have the strength control with your muscles to be able to do this. If not, you're going to cause a lot more stress and pain that you don't really need. So, and then if you want to work on the staggered, so I'm going to use my right side for example. I'm going to come down, explode up. Lean a little bit more to your right, let the right side absorb it first. And if you want to work on that stiffness, come down, explode up. Soft elbow bend, okay? Single arm. And the full deceleration, not gonna lie to you, is really tough. You're most likely gonna face plant a little bit, so um, we recommend you do more of the staggered where you absorb more and more, and then your left arm is there to control. But the stiffness is really good to work on. So, same plow push up, a little bit stiff on that side. Okay, so when you come down, explode up. When you stick, you wanna make sure you're not rotating, foot's coming up, you wanna stay nice and as straight as possible, control it. You don't have to put your arm up there if you don't want to. I just do it just because it uh, keeps myself accountable to what's going on. So again, if you want to work more on the deceleration, what you're going to do with that single arm is go down, do that plyo push-up, or absorb with your right, control it down, and then use your left hand for some help. So explode up, and catch right, left. Okay. All right, the third exercise and final exercise for this is we're going to use a med ball and we're going to use this to work on the plyo push-up um, as well as the deceleration part of it. So I have about a five pound med ball here. You go have your, if you'd like, but I recommend starting light and then progressing up. So you're pretty much going to do uh, a floor press where you're trying to shoot this ball up as high as you can. And we're going to start with double arm catch. So we're going to do the absorption one. We catch it, absorb it down, you explode back up. So you're going to press out, control it in. Okay. So work on that. On the double arm for a little bit more stiffness, you're going to catch it with the soft elbow bend to press out, control it. Okay. So just like in basketball, when you do a full chest pass, you come in, generate more power. Sometimes you got to go catch it quick and pass it quick. So working on both is going to be important. So, full absorption, stiffness, okay? And then if you want to work on single arm, you can do the same exact thing. You can push off two, push off one, depending on where you're at. So do the full absorption here, we're going to go single arm press, control it down, okay? So, again, starting with the ball that you can control, and then this one's a little bit more of the stiffness part. You go double arm, single arm, working on control. Again, this is, isn't is as isolated as all the other exercises were really strict on feeling like your scapula is um, firing, feeling specific muscles. This is a full stability um, exercise. So you might not isolate, you're more than likely not gonna isolate one exercise or one muscle. You want all your muscles firing together um, to be able to absorb the impact and be able to decelerate and accelerate, um, whether it be an external force or just your body weight. So try those out, um, kind of mess around with where you feel like your level is, gave you a bunch of different progressions. You could go from higher box, get your feet elevated to the deceleration, use a heavier ball, a bigger ball, a ball that's not as evenly weighted, so like a biased ball where when you toss it, it kind of shifts in the air. When you catch it, it kind of shifts. So there's a lot of different variations you can do. So try those out. All right, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those more absorption catching phases of uh, upper body plyometrics. Can be challenging, may be uncomfortable. Really make sure you did part one and three of our video series before getting into these exercises. 
as we, as I mentioned earlier in the video, these are just a few of the exercises of a many exercises that you can do to build up this part of strength for your shoulder as well as tissue tolerance um, for being able to absorb impact. Um, just like we mentioned, for any athlete, especially when you either take impact, tackling, the more con contact sport, or even basketball when you're landing or catching or running into somebody, you really need to make sure your muscles are firing to one, support your passive structures like the labrum, the ligaments, the capsule, and all that stuff. So being able to build up your tissue tolerance and being able to absorb this more high impact activities will help you down the line in not only basketball, but in life and other sports you may be participating in. So really make sure you try these out. Don't overdo it. Just kind of work on your form, making sure you're feeling it correctly and building up over time and continue to do the other ones. But this is just uh, in terms of the other ones, in terms of the other closed chain and open chain exercises. This is their just exercise that you might want to fit in maybe like once a week for like prehab or rehab as you progress from uh, maybe a shoulder injury or something like that. But something that you definitely should be able to do if you're playing sports. If you like this video and you learned something new, please help us reach more hoopers by liking, subscribing, share with your family and friends. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. We are the Basketball Doctors. That's Ball for Life.